Hello, my lovely students. I miss you. Well, you cannot imagine how much I miss you. From now till I see you, please be patient and keep safe at home. Today we will solve exercise three in the official exam of 2017 first session. Well, we have a system of equations, two equations and two unknowns. The two variables are x and y. The first equation is x plus y equal 35, and the second equation is 9x plus 8y equal 300. Part 1 says, solve the following system. Before solving the system, you need to make sure that x is above x, y is above y, equal above equal, and the numbers are above each other. Now, I have chosen to get rid of x to eliminate x so i will multiply the upper equation the first equation by minus 9 why because the coefficient of x in the second equation is 9 so what kills the 9 is minus 9 now after multiplying the first equation by minus 9 it will become minus 9x minus 9y equal minus 315 i will add both equations now x eliminates x and I will still have minus y equal minus 15. It means that y equal 15. Now I have the value of y equal 15 and I want to find the value of x. I have two equations but the first one is much easier so I will replace y equal 15 in the first equation which is x plus y equal 35. So I will put x plus 15 equal 35. Now I get a very easy equation. So it is easy to find that x equal 20. Now I have x equal 20 and y equal 15 and I am done. I have solved the system. Now let's complete. We have now a class of 35 students, boys and girls. 10% of the girls left the class and 20% of the boys left the class. Now the new number of students in the class is 30 students. Now he told us that X is the number of girls and Y designates the number of boys. He want us to write a system of two equations to model this problem. Now, he said first that the number of boys and girls before leaving the class is 35. So it's easy that x plus y equals 35. So the first equation, it was very easy. It is x plus y equals 35. Now let's look for the second equation. He told me that 10% of the girls left the class and also 20% and also of the boys left the class. Now the new number of students after some students left the class is 30 students. Let's start with girls. Suppose that the number of girls before leaving the class is 100. Suppose, I mean if it was 100, then the number of girls after leaving the class, after some girls left the class is only 90. Why? Because 10 of these 100 had left the class. So, if it was 100, then the new number of girls is 90. Now, in reality, the number of girls is x. Then, after leaving the class, is just unknown. So, it will be 90 multiplied by x over 100. After cross-multiplication, of course, it will become 0.9x. So let's continue for boys. Suppose that the number of boys before leaving the class was 100, just a matter of supposition. So if it was 100 before leaving the class, it will become 80. Why? Because 20 of these 100 had left the class. So if it was 100, it will become 80 after leaving the class. Now, in reality, the number of, of boys is y. 
the new number of boys is just unknown we can find it easily in terms of y by the cross multiplication it will become finally 0.8 y now the new number of girls becomes 0.9 x and the new number of boys is 0.8 y so the total is 30 as he said so 0.9 x added to 0.8y equals 30 and this is the second equation now we can get rid of the point by multiplying by 10 so let's multiply it by 10 it will become 9x plus 8y equal 300 now our system is ready x plus y equal 35 and 9x plus 8y equal 300 as we have proven Now finally, still we have the last part in this exercise which says find the number of, number of girls and that of boys. We have agreed before that number of girls is X and number of boys is Y. Now we can see that our system made of the first equation X plus Y equals 35 and the second equation 9X plus 8Y equals 300 is identical to the given system the given system in the first part of the question so x was 20 and y equal 15 so we can deduce that number of girls is 20 and number of boys is 15 and we are done bye bye